Okay, how long does it take to transform a school? Paper, ideas, words, ink, and tape. Well, see, the idea is this. You're taking people's time when you leave things on the wall. These are things that inspire people. And so you could have a list of interesting things. What would happen to a school? This is the question that we're asking right here. What will happen to a school if you fill it with lots of interesting things? What if you say, all right, I'm now going to take this school and make it a space of exploration. We're going to discover new things here. We're also going to put the rules on the wall. These are things that inspire us. Maybe we will put for the shorter people some down here, right? In other words, there will be lots and lots of quotes. Now, one of the things that people say is, oh, it will look cluttered. So I thought, okay, let's see what it looks like. And the idea is that you have them everywhere not just in the hallways, not just in the, well, in the classrooms. Why not put it everywhere? So let's go look for other places to put them. We want to have um, all sorts of places for the, um, you should put them in corners, so that when people are bored and they're looking around the room or outside the window, there's something for them to look at, right? There's something for them to interact with. I think this will be great. And I, I don't, I, what I, the reason I'm videoing this is because there's this, an assumption, well, it will take a lot of time, right? So I want to document how long it takes. And you know, how, how much space does it take to fill? Because if you don't have enough quotes, then it will look um, empty. I mean, that's my assumption. Yeah, you know, this is the first time I've done this. I've put quotes up before. I've put quotes up but only one or two at a time. In other words, I put them up and perhaps I don't um, follow them very well. Okay, so we're looking down this whole corridor. How can we improve this corridor? Well, when you first come down a corridor, lots of posters, right? So maybe this is not the right place. Maybe we should go a little farther down. Down to say, aha, this looks bare, barren. Possibly just the place for the marauding um, quote maker, right? What should we call ourselves? The quote makers. There we are. There should be one next to the water fountain. That's a great idea. And then you put them on both sides of the wall so people stop and they stare. That would be good. And maybe not on the door, but why not next to the door? That would be good. Let's go in the men's room. Oh boy. Now. Obviously, you would do it in the women's room, too, but I'm going to be able to say I've never walked in there. Oh, Steve, you are a coward. That's what they say. So, girls, this is what goes on in here. So, I think this would be nice over there. And then in the hallowed place that men spend, you know, 25 or 30 seconds, should have something right about there. Yeah, that's a good place. In other words, we're putting them 
where people will be sitting, not where they'll walk. Okay. So here is the wrong place. We really should put it, yeah, that's right, over here. I'm not going to put it up at this level. It has to be where they're going to be sitting, right? Sounds good. And it never hurts to have something to look at while you are looking in the mirror. Okay. So, what we're doing is I'm showing you how the transformation takes place, right? I'm not necessarily saying this is the only way to do it, but Let's see what happens to a room and to a corridor when you do that. Look at this nice blank wall. Let's see what happens. Let's see how much time it actually takes. So we're trying to test two things. Does it look cluttered? Does it take too much time? And so with this video, I hope we will answer that. I mean, for me, I, I like, well, cluttered's probably not good. However, I like um, something that's interesting. And so, it, it might be that looking at dozens of these will be sufficient to stimulate students to uh, talk to each other about the new words. I mean, I'm in a language school here, but why wouldn't it also work in, say, a middle school or a high school? We could be having all sorts of interesting things up on the walls. Um, now, if it was a high school, I think the assumption is, oh, the kids are going to knock it down. If it falls down, they'll just kick it. So you have to somehow have it more permanently affixed. So we'll see. So let's see how junky this looks. So there it is. And there it is, right? We are looking at the sides of the room. And let's see what we're actually looking at here. All right. Breathing in, I calm my body. Being sick is not an advantage, you know. The world does not stop just because you don't feel good. So I don't want to hear any more excuses. That sounds good. Okay. Fear knocked at the door, faith answered, and there was nobody there. This is a story about Carter in Corsica. It says... Um, be yourself at all times. Your better qualities will not always emerge in the school environment. That's nice. Whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report. Let's have a look and see what else we can see here. Our lives are what we make of them. Sounds good. This is called the breath. From unbelief to belief, nothing but a breath. 